Hello fellow crafters and welcome to Max DM Crafting. This piece is an icon of tabletop gaming guys. We are talking about the throne room for the grand finale of the Return of the Witch Lord, one of the expansions for the old hero quest, one of the most successful in my opinion. This crafting video does not present great technical peculiarities. Nevertheless, for the creation of this piece, I had to undo some crucial notes for the realization. As you can see in the original tile, access to the room takes place by going down three steps. This means that uh, we are talking about a kind of pit which is also confirmed by the graphics on the box. This means that the structure on which we find the throne is much higher than it might seem from the tile itself. You can see that there are even grates with ravenous monsters there. That being said, I'm also in possession of a beautiful throne that I purchased on ziterdes.com. Somehow I want to make this tile suitable for that too. So let's summarize. Point number one. The tile must be lower than the plane of my set. Point number two. The throne must be located on top of a compact but at the same time rather complex structure. Point number three. Everything must be modular so that it can be used both in a standard HeroQuest map and in a more personal form and therefore with changes in the sides of the room. Guys, let's welcome the new Proxon. Look, see how well it cuts. <laughs> Again, a big thank you from the bottom of my heart to all my supporters. I start preparing a slice of XPS foam from which I will then cut out the tiles for the room. I will create the base with some medium graphics chipboard and my room will be 5 inches by 6 inches in the standard version while it will be 5 inches by 7 inches in the custom version. In both cases it will still be to scale for my HeroQuest custom board. Check out my HeroQuest series if you are interested in this type of project. I use one of the basic drawing techniques to recopy. I use a grid and instead of thinking about recopying the whole drawing in a single session, I take care of taking the reference points of one square inch at the time. In this way, even if I am completely denied drawing, I can easily get close to the original subject. Now we just have to get all the tiles from the XPS form and following the references of our drawing create the absolutely fantastic flooring of the room. Note, on the original cardboard the tiles are highlighted through the use of a play of shadows. This almost makes the tiles seem suspended from the floor below. To give a similar effect we will leave real voids in the pavement, in the eye sockets and the mouth of the skull. This process is quite laborious but a lot of fun to do especially when the end result is so satisfying.
once I have finished gluing all the pieces, I turn my tile over and pass a layer of PVA glue to counteract the folding process of the cardboard. At this point, I eliminate the excess from the edges to get the maximum precision at the edge and uh, to be able to perfectly insert my tile in my game system. Let's add the three steps at one end. These must be at the same level as uh, our game board. In my case, they line up with my tiles created with my Fusion tile system. Don't you know what I'm talking about? Check out my playlist on my tile conjunction system, the Fusion tiles system. Now you see the throne I bought from Ziterdes. It is a beautiful stone throne with a fabric, which I will paint red, and many beautiful details, such as skulls on the floor and two skull-shaped buttons to fix the cloth. It seems to me that it is more uh, than suitable for this room. Unfortunately, however, it is a bit cumbersome. This is why I add a row of tiles to the back of the room. I keep it together with the rest of the room thanks to some scotch so that I can paint the floor as if it were a single piece. At this point we are ready for the basic cover. At a certain point I helped myself with pins to prevent the cardboard from uh, embarking due to the acrylic paint diluted with the Mod Podge that I used. After the drying time, we proceed to complete the room. Now the final piece. It will have to give the magic touch to the standard version. For this type of construction, nothing can be better than XPS foam. Apart from the red drape, most of the painting is done with the dry brush technique. And here is the final result in the standard form and with the throne of Zeterdus. I hope you found this video entertaining and above all inspiring. If so, consider supporting my channel with a small donation or with Patreon. Find the links in the description box below the video. Remember to like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell if you don't want to miss my next content. These videos are possible thanks to the support of my patrons, whom I thank from my heart.
Ciao.